Hello everyone, this is Kingcon IoT. Last video, we have already installed Node Red on the Home Assistant. In this video, I will tell you step by step how to control our relay controller uh, relay output uh, by the Node Red and running on the Home Assistant. Let's begin. Uh, this is our Home Assistant diagram. We can see the Node Red is already installed. And now we can create your own switch just in this configuration. And this you can see it can help you to build automation. We press add. Uh, this is a talk. We choose this one, this type. And you can rename as light one just as you needed. Then you can see the overview. You can see this is a switch have created on the Home Assistant. Okay, now let's look at our controller. We need to know the IP address. This is our IP and this is our port of the controller. Now this time we will need work mode uh, TCP server because this is running on local network. So the controller is a server running on your home. Uh, so without the internet also can work at the country. Now we can just do the node red. When we open node red, uh, this is our workbench. So we need to control our relay. Uh, we just need to link the node red and the home assistant switch. There is an event state. We can get home assistant state. We can use the debug. We can see when we press on and off what information will be output. We can double click. And this server is home assistant. And this is entity ID. We can click the light one. Click this. And this is entity ID. We can copy. Country C copy. And in this, we can press pesto. And we down. Now we can deploy. We can resize the browser. Now we can use two window. and choose this debug when I press off switch off you can see this state will output off and when I press on you can see this state will be output on so uh, the node will output the information from the node home assistant by this way we just add We can add a switch. If this switch is on, go to one and add. If off, go to two, down. Then we connect this line. And also we can place two functions. Double click. We just tell this node turn on relay one. Uh, if turn on relay one, you can see our website and the development. You can see the port what command you send will be turn on relay one. You can see this port. And this is turn on relay one. Just send this string. I have already copied in this way. So I just copy. It's save time. We just 
I copy this uh, set release set one one. This means uh, channel one. This means on the two five five never to changed, just fixed. Then we press down. And also this is for on operation. This is for off condition. We double click also just change this one to zero and down and you can uh, connect this debug to this line clear You can see when I press on, this send this stream. When I press off, uh, this will can connect this. Press on, send this stream. Press off is zero. Press on is one. Okay, this is can send command. Now the next step is it add the TCP out. This is TCP out. We can delete this. And double click. Uh, this is choose connect to part. Part is this 4196. And the host, host the server ID is this IP. Okay, we press down. And now you can deploy. You can see this node TCP have connected our controller. Okay. Now we can press this button. Press this button. You can see turn on relay one and turn off relay one. So it's very easy. Just use this command. I have cost five minutes. You can turn on relay one and turn off relay one on the home assistant. So if you can use the channel two, create the second light, this is light 2, great, then we can see there are two lights, and also we can refresh the brass, you can see light 2, you can click and uh, see the entity ID and copy this entity ID. Oh, there is a function you need to remember. Uh, when you finished, you can use this export to save this photo. You can press download, then this will be saved. So we can press copy again and double click this note and just change to light 2 down and this switch is not changed needed to change and this function you just change relay 2 down and this also change to relay 2 down now you can deploy Okay, this is running, running, and connected. And uh, now we can refresh. Now we can turn on relay one, and uh, turn on second relay. And now you can turn off relay one, and turn off 
value 2. So it's very easy. Uh, this is Android phone and iPhone. We have installed the Home Assistant application. You can choose you which type you will to use. We can see this is Android phone. I can press on and press off. Press on relay 1, relay 2. And also turn on all relay. You can see when I press the button, the iPhone relay state will change at the same time. Also, if you you iPhone, also if you use iPhone, you can to change the state. So you can see this is work at the same time. In this video, you have successfully controlled the array output from your mobile phone or from your PC. In next video, I will tell you how to read the input state of the relay controller. Then you can read the sensor the input state and you can triangle for any output. So it's for automation, automatic country, many actions. Uh, thanks for watching.